Student students, Miss H here. How are you? Long time no talk. Haven't spoken to you guys for I think over a week. Um, I hope you enjoyed the campaign videos or the campaign ad um, activity. I think that's a lot of fun. I think it's always fun to kind of look at different approaches to things, especially when it comes to media. And honestly, you know, we are the we're the jury on that. That's they're meant for us, and we get to critically analyze it. So I think it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed reading your answers. Some of you are tough critics. Like, I don't think I would want to make any kind of campaign ad for you. You guys ripped so far. It was it was pretty tough, but um, it's good. It's, you know, and it's good that you know what they are because it, there's a very specific agenda behind them and they are meant for you. So the more that you're aware of what they're doing, what uh, characteristics the ad has, what the angle is behind it, um, the more informed you're going to be and the the better the choice you're going to make, the more informed your decision will be whenever you go to vote. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is a little bit more about like the role of the media. How are politicians, how is the government using the media to their own advantage and, you know, how does it affect you? It affects you all the time. Um, so the thinking question for the do now would be, why do people watch TV or why do people go on Snapchat or Instagram? So we see obviously that the younger folks, which I'm including myself in it to make myself feel better, we're more prone to going on our phones on social media, while maybe someone who's a bit older is more inclined to watch, you know, cable on um, any kind of TV show. Why? Why are we doing that to begin with? So think about that for a second. We're going to have the gong go off. <laughs> And while you continue to think, woof, what a list. This is everything that has been due so far in the fourth quarter. And we're going to add one more assignment to that. Actually, two more. We're going to add one today. And then there's going to be one on Thursday that's really not an assignment. I mean, you'll get graded for it because why not? Because it's an easy, easy grade. Um, but we're at the end, my friends. Crazy to think about. And I'll get way more into that on Thursday. But... If you want to start going through this list, making sure you have everything, I get a lot of emails asking me if, you know, am I all caught up? Am I missing any work? I welcome those emails. Please, please email me if you have any questions. I'm more than willing to go and look for you because I would much rather us be safe than sorry. Okay? So, what makes a good campaign ad? So, I liked a lot of what you were saying, why certain ads were effective. Um, a lot of people liked shorter ads, which I think we're very used to considering the social media we grow up on. Um, there is a difference between a professional camera, right? Maybe versus a camera where you look and you say, oh, that looks very low budget. Um, maybe some of the humor was very off-putting. A lot of us liked that last ad where we had all these people talking really, really horrible stuff about this guy. And we find out that that's his family members. So a lot of us like the shock value, especially right at the end, that nice little twist. So now that we know what like campaign ads look like, we're going to look at why are they using these ads? You know, why are they bothering to film this, to di uh, distribute it? Why are politicians using this form of media uh, to reach voters? Why aren't they making speeches? Why aren't they writing, you know, articles in newspapers? Why is it this form specifically? And in order for us to really look into that, we need to know what media is. Um, so if you go to your notes, or if you don't even want to fill out notes, you just want to kind of listen and watch, you know, what is the media? It's a word we throw around all the time, but does anyone know, like, what a good definition would be? Like, when you stop and think about it, I think it's a word that we don't really define a lot. Um, you know, for instance, it's actually plural of medium, something that makes sense now that we say it, but you don't really think about it first, right? So media is a plural of medium, and a medium is just a method of communicating info. So it could be information, entertainment, any kind of message. So anything that's used to communicate is a medium. And so when we have multiple mediums, we have the media. So the most obvious one is going to be the television right away. Uh, we should think of that. Of course, we're going to um, think of cell phones, um, the internet, radio, all very commonly used you know, media. And so, when we have mass media, it's a method of that communication, but it, it reaches a large amount of people, right? Large numbers. It's not just going locally. It's going to, like, 
a big, big group. So when you hear the phrase, the media, usually it's referring to the sources of our news and info. It's not really talking about like, you know, the Kardashians or the Real Housewives. Technically, when you hear people talk about the media, especially politicians, they're talking about where you get your news from. Um, and usually about current events. So, uh, if you continue to scroll down to your notes, you're going to see a lot of reading. What I would like for you to do is to take a few minutes, even if you want to pause me here, and read about the different roles of the media. Because there are different roles. It's not, you know, just like so simple where the media just does this and that's, you know, that's that they move on. They do take on a whole bunch of roles. You know, e-news is a very different form of media than CNN, Fox, or NBC, MSNBC. They're coming at it with totally different angles. And it's important for you guys to know what role they're taking because then you can know if their info is trustworthy or not. So take a second and read. Pause me here. Okay, I'm hoping you're back. Um, I awkwardly paused for those who didn't. And <laughs> what you're going to do now is click this link and it's going to take you to a matching activity, which I actually have um, pulled up. So hang on, we're gonna do some movie magic. Ooh, we're back. Okay, so fill out your name, please. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of look at each of these situations or each of these scenarios and say, which role is this portraying? Knowing what you know from those notes. So you have the media as a watchdog, media as a business, media as a gatekeeper, media as biased, and media as agenda setter. And I really like how the notes like define exactly what each role is and what it means. So again, you can just take a look at each scenario. So like, for example, a politician accepts expensive gifts from a campaign supporter. Two television networks run hour-long exposés about the politician's bad behavior. The politician returns the gifts and resigns from office. Then you would scroll up and say, okay, I think that's, you know, this one, this one, this one, or this one, or this one. And you would go down and you would pick, you know, which one you think it is. You guys pretty much know how this works by now. Um, and then that's it, my friends. That's all I have for you today. I'm kind of trying to keep it very light because I know a lot of us are probably going to be a little bit overwhelmed with the quarter ending and I totally understand. I remember being there myself, so no stress. Um, again, if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know. Please email me. I am more than happy to answer them. Here, I'm going to leave this up. Distress. Uh oh to add a little bit more of uh, maybe anxiety, but hopefully not. Hopefully it's all done. And don't forget, if you guys did not do these extra credits, you totally still can. Why not? Get some extra points. And that's all I got. I'm going to talk to you on Thursday. I'm a little, uh, it's a little bittersweet on Thursday, but we'll get there when we get there. And I uh, hope all is well. Stay safe, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.